Olivia de Havilland, an actress who gained movie immortality in Gone with the Wind, then built an illustrious film career, punctuated by a successful fight to loosen the studio's grip on contract actors, died on Sunday at her home in Paris. She was 104 and one of the last surviving stars of Hollywood's fabled Golden Age. Her death was confirmed by her publicist Lisa Goldberg. Ms. De Havilland was both a classic Hollywood beauty and an honored screen actress whose very name and bearing suggested membership in a kind of aristocracy of moviedom. Though she was typecast early in her career as the demure ingenue, she went on to earn media roles that led to five Academy Award nominations, two of which brought her the Oscar, for two each his own, 1946, and, The Heiress, 1949. Those roles came to her in no small part because of the resolve she showed when she stood up to the studios and won a battle that helped push Hollywood into the modern era, surprising the movie moguls, who may not have expected such steel in an actress so softly attractive and, at 5'3", so unintimidatingly petite. She had shown similar grit a decade earlier, in her breakthrough role, when she held her own against her formidable co-stars, Clark Gable, Vivian Lee and Leslie Howard, in, Gone with the Wind. The 1939 Civil War epic was briefly pulled from the HBO Max streaming service last month and returned with an introduction saying that the film presents the Georgia plantation at its center as, a world of grace and beauty, without acknowledging the brutalities of the system of chattel slavery upon which this world is based. As Melanie Hamilton Wilkes, the fiancé and then wife of Mr. Howard's Ashley Wilkes, she brought intelligence and grace to her portrait of a woman whose shy, forgiving, almost too kindly nature stood in sharp contrast to the often venomous jealousy of her high-spirited sister-in-law, Scarlett O'Hara, Ms. Lee. Ms. de Havilland's performance led to an Oscar nomination as Best Supporting Actress, though the award went to another member of the cast, Hattie McDaniel, who played Mammy, Scarlett's housekeeper. Ms. Lee won in the Best Actress category. Ms. De Havilland was under contract to Warner Brothers when the film's original director, George Cukor, working for MGM, invited her to audition for the role of Melanie. He was later replaced by Victor Fleming. After getting the part, she had to plead with her studio boss, Jack Warner, to lend her to the MGM production, which was being overseen by David O. Selznick. By then she had established herself at Warner as a familiar heroine in some 20 films and had begun a long collaboration with the prolific director Michael Curtis, encompassing nine films. Most notable was a string of action features and costume dramas opposite the dashing Errol Flynn, among them, Captain Blood, 1935, The Charge of the Light Brigade, 1936, and, The Adventures of Robin Hood, 1938, in which she played Maid Marian.